It's week two of series 18 and we've been rehearsing this morning in a studio that could double as a meat freezer. It's really cold in here and it's going to be a good show because uh, while well, James and Jeremy go off to China to investigate why and when Chinese cars are going to take over the world, I don't want to give anything away about that. It's really not too bad. Rides nicely. Most of the time. The guest is Matt LeBlanc. My daughter was really excited about that one, but I didn't let her come down to school. Um, and then Jeremy drives the Mercedes SLS. <laughs> Which is ridiculous, but he likes it in the Roadster version. And I went to America to drive this. It's NASCAR. And I've long since said F1 is boring and for snobs and it's just an exercise in writing numbers down and remembering names. It's just not very exciting. Whereas NASCAR is, because it's American, it's a big show. It's all about the theatre and the spectacle and the pantomime. Don't look in the mirror. It's like being attacked by tigers. It was just mega. What a great day out. I loved it. And I've got to go in this. One of these. It's utterly terrifying, to be honest, because if you look at it, I mean, it's, it's clearly a car. You can sort of recognise it vaguely as a car. That's the point of these things, so that you can imagine you might get to do it yourself for real. But they're a mixture of high-tech and, and construction. They kind of are. The chassis, it's a proper racing chassis underneath, but it's just rear-wheel drive. The brakes are famously rubbish, and to drive it, it's set up so that it goes round the banked corners. In NASCAR, it's just an oval track. So you go straight and then a bend, straight and then a bend, straight. You just go round and round and round. But it's, that makes it sound so boring, but it's not. Hard. Oh! Smash! Smash! <laughs> all the way down, all the way down. Oh, I am so scared! All the way down. All he wants to do is kind of roll into this bank, it's like flying a helicopter because you roll into the turn. You're flying through three dimensions effectively in a car. The thing is set up so that at nearly 200 miles an hour around that curve, it somehow finds the grip to stay where you want it to be. I only did it on my own. What it's like when you're with 50 other cars out there, about 39,000 horsepower between them, and every single aerodynamic shift makes a monumental difference. They will not just slipstream, but they'll just get alongside you. And if necessary, they'll punt you into the wall. So I went to make a case for it being better than F1. I think it is. I don't think when we record the show, Jeremy's going to agree, but we'll find out. Hope you enjoy it. Yes, everything's all right. Everything's not all right. Both of my lungs are on the same side. That's not normal. This is Richard from that Top Gear movie. Yep. Hold on to your spine. Ah! 